Hey everybody. I'll not deny that I don't watch a lot of fish keeping videos anymore, but back in the day when I first started keeping fish and I was real enthusiastic and wanted to learn as much as I could about the different fish and what they look like and what other fish they could be kept with, etc. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I read a lot of comment threads and fish forums and stuff like that. And one theme that popped up regularly is the cause of death of fish after a massive water change. This topic would come up from time to time and almost every time that topic would come up there would be at least one or two people in the comment section that would suggest that the fish died from heart attacks due to stress caused by the massive water change and whether you're laughing or not at this point I don't know but this was a serious uh, explanation given by a lot of people and I've talked about this before but it's been a long time since I have talked about it and since I was out fishing this evening it's actually kind of been on my mind and I wanted to just go over it real quick and the answer is while I can't definitively say no fish never have heart attacks and it's never caused by big water changes for the most part I can say that that's just not really how it works uh, for one thing Fish's hearts aren't the same as humans' hearts, and while it is possible for a human to die of a heart attack due to stress or even jubilation, you can actually die from uh, the, it's the adrenaline that gets you, whether it's caused by happiness or fear or whatever, a human can have a heart attack from an overload of adrenaline. It's almost like an overdose of adrenaline. Very, very rarely does that ever happen though, and it happens in extreme and unusual circumstances. For a fish, I don't know whether that ever happens at all, because first of all, they have very simple hearts. They're just simple two-chambered hearts. I don't know what their adrenal system is like and so on and so forth, but furthermore, let's think about what we're talking about doing. We're talking about doing a water change on fish that live in your aquarium. Are they not used to water changes? Is this the first water change they've ever been exposed to? Why would a water change be something that induced that much stress that it kills these fish outright from a heart attack? And every time I would hear this, I would always think about when I go fishing. I trick fish into biting some metal hook I yank the hook into their face, I drag them up onto my boat, you know, against their will with them fighting the whole way, struggling and thrashing and jumping out of the water. I pick them up, I squeeze them, I stick pliers in their face, I yank the hook out of their face, I throw them back in the water. If that level of stress doesn't just kill every fish you catch when you're out fishing, why do you think a water change would kill a fish because of a heart attack? I would, I would definitely think that being caught with a hook through your face and dragged up into a boat is a lot more stressful than just, oh, it's another water change. This one's slightly bigger than the last million water changes that we've all experienced and lived through. My fish, a lot of times, will come up and nibble on the skin on my hands when I'm trying to wipe the glass down. They're so used to water changes. So, bit of a silly topic, a bit lighthearted, no pun intended. Um, but it is something I was thinking about, and I didn't have a lot of time today, so I thought I would just sit down and shoot that, because apparently, you know, people were talking about it regularly back, you know, a few years ago, so I don't know if that's still a topic that comes up uh, regularly in discussions. But the idea of fish having heart attacks due to massive water changes is really just not something that happens. More likely what's happening is you're shifting your water chemistry radically when you're doing these really big water changes. You're shifting the hardness, you might be shifting the pH, you could be shifting the carbonate hardness, which would then later cause pH fluctuations. Uh, you could be shifting the total dissolved solid numbers, which is going to cause issues with osmoregulations. There's a lot of things that can happen when you do a really massive water change that is more to do with water chemistry or possibly even screwing up your nitrogen cycle or something like that is more likely going to be the cause if you have fish mysteriously dying after you've done a massive water change. It's not a heart attack. You didn't scare your fish to death with a very large water change. That's just not the way it really works. So. Be careful when you do water changes like that. If you're planning on a massive water change, really look at your source water, look at what's in your tank, compare the two, compare how much different the two are. If you've got a big swing in pH, don't do a huge water change. If you've got a big swing in hardness or dissolved solids, don't do a massive water change. That alone can kill your fish. If your water and your tap 
like mine is very similar to what's in your tanks, then you can do larger water changes with a little more confidence. But you know, if you're not sure about your water, stick to more frequent, smaller water changes. Very large water changes can kill fish, but it's not because of heart attacks. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.